The bomber plane in Battlefield 1 is one of the most powerful and effective vehicles in the game, invaluable for eliminating large clusters of infantry on objectives, tanks, behemoths, and even other aircraft. With the removal of lock-on weapons, piloting has never been a more viable strategy. So, how do you most effectively use it? Let's get right into it. Before I discuss any mechanics related to the bomber, I just want you to quickly make two changes in the settings that will immediately give you a huge advantage in the air. The first, increase the size of your minimap. It's easy to forget the value of the minimap when you're in the middle of the action, but as a bomber, your goal is to constantly be looking for vehicles and enemies to bomb. Increasing its size will allow you to get a better idea of the enemy's position before you've passed them. It also gives you the advantage of being able to locate enemy aircraft so you can position yourself accordingly. The second, go into your key bindings and bind pitch up to your spacebar. This is fairly well known, but for those of you that are unaware, this will improve your flight maneuverability immensely. Basically, if you've ever found yourself trying to turn your plane and constantly having to swipe your mouse while unable to shake off the plane behind you, this eliminates that problem. It really kinda is the one weird trick that ace pilots don't want you to know about, and I can't imagine not using it. Also, by default, the fire command is bound to spacebar, so just be sure to clear that before playing. Okay, settings are in order and you're ready to bomb. But it's hard to find targets, and by the time you've seen them, you're either too far off course or your bombs have missed entirely. Well, to start with finding targets, I find it best to fly over the hotspots at medium altitude to sort of scan and see where the targets lie. It can help to check your map and see which points are currently being fought over with the most people. Once you have a good idea of where they are, turn around, align yourself as best as you can, and you're ready for a bombing run. Bombs often miss because it can be difficult to account for the distance your bombs will travel when you drop them. The blast radius is forgiving, but not enough so for you to drop them where you think the enemy might be and hope for the best. The faster you're traveling and the higher you are, the further your bombs will travel horizontally before meeting the ground. Think of it a bit like leading a target with your sniper. You want to drop the bombs before your target, sometimes more than you think you'd need to. If you find yourself consistently missing and you're not sure why, go into first person mode on the climb up and use free to look to look behind you. See where your bomb landed and try and keep that in mind for next time. Right now, the anti-aircraft guns are the biggest counter to planes in the game. They have massive range and can tear you apart very quickly provided the guy shooting knows how to aim. Dealing with them is very tricky, and you're often better off just staying out of their range until they're dealt with on the ground. However, if you're feeling particularly bloodthirsty, there is a way. What I like to do is to fly as high as you possibly can before hitting the top of the skybox and stay there. You can see me climbing here, and I'm actually just out of range of the gun. When you think they're reloading, it is time to strike. Dive down and unleash the bombs. Again, this can be tricky and isn't going to work every time, but it can work. The same concept applies to airship turrets, guns on the armored train, etc. As a bomber, you are slow, have the maneuverability of a brick, and are an enormous target. Other aircraft will actively be targeting you. There's even a loadout for the fighter plane specifically meant for murdering you. Despite this, however, you're surprisingly well equipped to deal with the other planes. The rear gun is amazing for taking out pilots hunting you down, and the front cannon, although slow, is an absolute animal for spaghetti wrecking targets approaching from the front. When someone's on your back and you have a rear gunner, all you can do is actively try and position yourself in a way that's favorable for your gunner. This means trying to maintain slight altitude over the plane behind you so that the enemy plane and gunner has to aim upward at a harder target, and your gunner can maintain the high ground. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Don't try it! <laughs> Bombers are a different story. Here, you can take the role of the hunter. You can see me here deliberately flying behind an enemy bomber, helpless as my front gunner tears him apart. If you have a front gunner and you see an enemy bomber, absolutely do not be afraid to get behind him and give him the wreck sauce. Okay, that's great and all, but what if you don't have any gunners? Well, you could try this, or you could get into the rear gunner seat and handle things yourself, like this. Not only is it completely viable and actually incredibly useful, it feels pretty badass as well. 
Finally, if your wing gets damaged for whatever reason, immediately try and get away from the battle to repair. A single bullet will interrupt your repair, but getting just one off is enough to repair the plane entirely. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you learned something you can utilize, and let me know if there's anything you'd want to see me cover. Thanks, and... Good day, sir!